Hello. I just want to go over on some of the expectations regarding Apple Professional Development for the two sessions that we are offering. The first session is July 9th and July 10th, and this is the current session descriptions. Um, you'll be going over Mavericks of Education, which is the basic operating system, and then on Thursday, July 10th is Challenge-Based Learning. The second session, which is July 16th and July 17th, again, all educators will go over the Maverick system, which is the operating system, and then the 17th will be reaching all learners. One of the expectations that we did as a one-to-one -one committee is we decided to choose the option of not going over the apps versus some of the ideas of technology in the classroom. Meaning, the reason why we chose challenge-based learning and reaching all learners is to hopefully give you the concept and not focus so much on the apps. With that being said, we are challenging you to kind of be ready for the July 10th and July 17th training. Um, the reason is there will be some focusing on the particular apps that are provided by Apple, such as Keynote Pages, iMovie, iPhoto. So with that being said, I would like to go over some of the things and tools that I would like you to do prior to um, class on the second day. So first thing I want to do is I want you to introduce you to the launch pad. The launch pad should be on your dock. If you click right here, it's on your launch pad. I'm going to click on the launch pad and you'll notice these are all the applications that are in your hard drive. You can scroll if you feel comfortable using the trackpad or if you don't, you can click on the um, dots at the bottom to get to the different ones. Now the applications that we are interested in are listed on this tutorial. I'm just going to rephrase them. There are Safari, Pages, Keynote, iMovie, iPhoto, GarageBand, and iTunes. Some of these you're probably already familiar with and some of you are not. And that is fine. What we are going to do today is I want the first thing I want you to do is know where those are at and locate them on your dock if you choose to. If not, at least know how to get to them through your launch pad. And hopefully some of these tools you will learn in the Mac OS operating system. But I do want you to feel comfortable before the second day. So please make sure you open each application and at least look at the screen. So for example, one of the applications that you have to have is Safari. So I'm going to scroll and find Safari. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it to my dock. Now Safari is on my dock. The second application on your list, and again this is listed on the tutorial and also on the sheet that I'll provide you, is Pages. I'm going to drag it and drop it. I also am just going to put it in orders, order that I need. The other one is Keynote. I'm going to drag it there. And iMovie. And I'm hoping you're making note of the different um, icons that are there. If I can't see it up there, I can also go up here and type in iMovie if I want. And I can click and drag it up here as well. And the last one, not the last one, I guess, iPhoto. You should be familiar with iPhoto. Most of you have been using iPhoto and iMovie. I'm not too concerned about those. GarageBand. I'm just placing on the dock so I'm ready for class. And the last one is iTunes, which I'm sure you're familiar with. So again, then the next step I would like you to do is open each one of those applications so you'll at least know what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Pages. And I'm going to just go, I don't need to open a previous one. I'm just going to go ahead and open a new document just so I can at least view it before I get there and open a blank one. And I'm going to do this with each application, especially do this with iMovie and iPhoto, especially since you changed to an operating system. We want to make sure everything is getting transferred over prior to class. Again, this is a, just a quick tutorial. I'm hoping that you at least find the applications that we are needing for those second day sessions. So if you have any questions, please contact the tech department. Thank you.